Elon Musk has finally broken his silence, and the world is stunned. The conversation is not about Tesla's next innovation or SpaceX's bold mission. It is about a mysterious self-powered electric vehicle coming from Africa that nobody thought could exist. Most people still have no idea what this car can actually do, but rumors are spreading fast. The story begins with Maxwell Sangulani Chikambutso, a young innovator from Zimbabwe. He is not a household name in Silicon Valley, but in Africa he is becoming a legend. Unlike traditional electric vehicles that rely on batteries and charging stations, his car powers itself. No gas stations, no charging ports, no endless hours waiting at a supercharger, just infinite range, free of cost. The claim sounds impossible, almost like science fiction, but this is what makes the story so powerful and so threatening to industries built on fuel and electricity. The whispers about this car have grown so loud that even the United States has started to pay attention. Reports claim that a prototype has already reached American soil. Some say it was secretly tested in California. Others believe engineers in the U.S. are already examining the design to see if it really works. And this is where Elon Musk's name enters the conversation. Musk has built an empire around electric vehicles that still depend on charging infrastructure. His vision for the future relies on batteries, solar energy, and a global network of chargers. But if Maxwell's self-powered EV is real, everything changes. Imagine a world where cars do not need power grids, solar farms, or charging lines. Imagine driving across entire countries without spending a single cent on fuel or electricity. This is exactly why the story has spread like wildfire. Africa is rarely seen as the birthplace of disruptive automotive technology, yet here it is. One young man's idea has captured global imagination. But who exactly is Maxwell Sangulani Chikambutso? Born in Zimbabwe, he grew up with limited access to resources, but unlimited curiosity. From an early age, he tinkered with electronics and dreamed of building machines. He taught himself engineering concepts without the luxury of elite universities or advanced labs. Eventually, he stunned his local community by creating working prototypes of energy devices. Among his most famous projects is the self-powered generator, a machine that seems to create energy out of thin air. Then came the self-powered helicopter and drone. And finally, the project that shook the automotive world, an electric vehicle that charges itself as it runs. For skeptics, these claims sound too good to be true. But videos, photos, and live demonstrations in Zimbabwe have convinced many that Maxwell is onto something real. Now, the rumor that this car has crossed into America has set off a storm. Journalists, engineers, and political leaders want to know what it means. The global race for dominance in clean energy is already intense. China, known for aggressively acquiring emerging technologies, is rumored to be in talks with Maxwell. If China manages to secure exclusive rights to this invention, it could reshape global energy markets overnight. China already dominates battery production and electric vehicle manufacturing. Adding a self-powered EV to its arsenal would make it nearly untouchable in the automotive sector. This possibility has alarmed governments across the world. Behind closed doors, oil giants are panicking. Executives from major oil corporations have reportedly held emergency meetings. The topic of discussion is simple. What happens if this African car is real? Billions of dollars in oil infrastructure could collapse. Gasoline demand would plummet. Even traditional electric charging networks could become obsolete. For the oil industry, this represents an existential crisis. For countries that rely on oil exports, it could mean economic disaster. Imagine nations built on petroleum wealth suddenly finding their primary income source vanishing. This is not just a car, it's a geopolitical earthquake. News outlets have picked up on the story, though many remain cautious. Some frame it as a hoax. Others suggest it is a breakthrough the world is not ready for. But behind the cautious headlines, powerful interests are moving quickly. American intelligence agencies are reportedly monitoring the situation. European investors are quietly reaching out to Zimbabwe. And technology forums are buzzing with debates about the science behind Maxwell's invention. At the center of it all, Elon Musk has finally been asked to respond. According to sources close to Tesla, 
Musk initially dismissed the idea. He reportedly said that such a car would violate the laws of physics. In his view, energy cannot come from nowhere, and perpetual motion machines are impossible. But when pressed about Maxwell's demonstrations, Musk admitted that he had not personally seen the technology. Still, he warned that even if the invention is real, it will face enormous hurdles. Car companies are not just about technology, they are about scaling, safety, and global regulation. Governments will not allow a new type of energy device on roads without years of testing. Powerful industries will lobby to slow down adoption. And global infrastructure built around energy sales will resist sudden change. In other words, even if Maxwell has cracked the code, bringing it to market will not be easy. Yet, for ordinary people, this is the dream they have been waiting for. Car that runs for free. No more fuel bills. No more dependency on unstable energy prices. No more stress about range anxiety. It is a technology that speaks to freedom and independence. And perhaps that is why so many people are fascinated by the story. Africa is not usually seen as the center of innovation. But here, a young man from Zimbabwe has forced the world to look differently. This is no longer just about technology. It is about power, pride, and global respect. The idea that an African innovator could outpace Silicon Valley and Chinese tech giants is revolutionary. It challenges assumptions about where the future will be written. And it shows that true genius can come from anywhere, regardless of wealth or geography. Still, doubts remain. How exactly does Maxwell's car power itself? Some suggest it uses advanced electromagnetic fields. Others believe it taps into radio frequencies in the environment. A few even speculate about undiscovered forms of energy. But Maxwell has kept the exact details secret. He argues that revealing too much could put his invention at risk of theft. That secrecy only fuels more curiosity and controversy. Skeptics call it proof that the invention is fake. Believers call it proof that the technology is valuable enough to protect. Meanwhile, ordinary people simply want to know when they can drive one. If Maxwell can bring his car to mass production, it could rewrite history. It could democratize transportation in ways never seen before. Developing countries with weak power grids would no longer be held back. Families struggling with fuel costs would be free from that burden. And the fight against climate change would gain its most powerful weapon. Yet the shadow of opposition looms large. Oil companies, governments, and even some automakers will fight to delay this revolution. The stakes are too high for them to ignore. Still, history shows that once an idea is born, it is almost impossible to kill. Maxwell's car may face challenges, but the world will never forget the possibility it introduced. Even Elon Musk, the man who dismissed it, will have to reckon with the idea that the future may not belong to Tesla alone. For now, the world waits. In Zimbabwe, the story continues to unfold. In America, whispers turn into debates. In China, strategies are being written in boardrooms. And in oil-rich nations, panic spreads quietly behind closed doors. Most people do not yet understand what this car could mean. They do not realize that the entire structure of global energy is under threat. They do not see how quickly power could shift from one continent to another. But soon, they will. Because even if Maxwell's invention is delayed, the idea has already been unleashed. And once people taste the possibility of freedom from fuel, they will never go back. Elon Musk may be right about the challenges, but he cannot stop the dream. And that dream began with a young African boy who dared to imagine the impossible. The self-powered EV is more than a machine. It is a symbol of what happens when creativity is stronger than doubt. And whether the world is ready or not, Africa has just announced that it is part of the future. Some analysts argue that the rise of Maxwell's invention mirrors past disruptions in history. When the first motor car appeared, the horse industry dismissed it as a novelty. When electricity began replacing gas lamps, oil suppliers claimed it would never scale. When smartphones emerged, traditional phone makers laughed at the idea of touchscreens replacing buttons. And now, as whispers of a self-powered EV grow louder, the established giants are repeating the same pattern. They doubt, they deny, and they delay. But what they cannot do is erase the vision that has already been planted in people's minds. 
In villages across Africa, people dream of owning a car that never needs fuel. In Europe, activists fighting climate change see this as the ultimate tool for sustainability. In Asia, governments hungry for energy independence imagine the economic power it could bring. Everywhere, the story resonates differently, but the hope is the same. Freedom from fuel. Freedom from charging stations. Freedom from constant dependency on energy suppliers. And this is why the rumors about Elon Musk's reaction became global headlines. The world wanted to know what the most famous name in electric cars thought about his new African rival. His disbelief was not surprising. He has spent years battling skeptics who doubted Tesla. Now, he himself has become the skeptic. But even in his dismissal, there was a note of caution. He admitted that if Maxwell's work proved real, it would be a game changer. That small admission was enough to keep the story alive. If even Elon Musk could not rule it out entirely, then perhaps the impossible was possible after all. For Maxwell, this is both a blessing and a curse. The attention brings him recognition but also immense pressure. Powerful corporations may try to buy him out, silence him, or discredit him. Nations may attempt to control his invention for their own gain. And ordinary people may expect results faster than any small team could deliver. The road ahead will be difficult, but history is filled with examples of innovators who overcame impossible odds. Maxwell is walking the same path now. The difference is that his invention does not just promise convenience. It promises liberation from entire systems that have dominated human life for over a century. And that is why people call it revolutionary. Whether the car hits the streets next year or 10 years from now, the idea has already won. The genie is out of the bottle, and the world will never see energy the same way again. For now, what matters most is the story. The story of a young boy from Zimbabwe who believed that free power was possible. The story of a continent often overlooked suddenly stepping into the spotlight. The story of an idea that has already made oil giants nervous and technologists curious. And the story of a future that may belong not to the biggest corporations, but to the boldest dreamers. Most people do not yet realize what Africa's self-powered EV could do, but soon they will. And when they finally understand, the world will never be the same.